Makers are discussing the controversial Don't Say Gay bill. It's a proposal that drawing, is drawing attention not just statewide, but nationwide. And West Street's Marley Martinez joins us in studio with what's happening right now. Marley. Right now, critics of the bill are asking the sponsor their hard-hitting questions. They say the Don't Say Gay bill harms LGBTQ youth and their mental health. This is the bill sponsor says his focus is protecting parents' rights. Before lawmakers even took to the House floor. Members will please take their seats. Some state lawmakers already took the gloves off in their fight against the Don't Say Gay bill. State sanctioned hatred. The callous disregard for the well-being of children. I am here and I am not moving. None of us are moving because if you're going to pass these bills, and we understand they may pass, you, you're not going to pass them without hearing from us. Democratic leaders say they're standing up against the legislation, even in the face of a Republican-dominated House, and they're not backing down, especially after the bill's sponsor recently added a controversial amendment requiring schools to tell parents if their child is anything but straight within six weeks. This is the forced outing of an LGBTQ child to an unsupportive parent who is not ready. Just moments before lawmakers took to the floor, the bill sponsor pulled that amendment. Republican Representative Joe Harding says his mission is to protect parents' rights, and his bill empowers parents to sue schools if they violate the proposal. The reason that I have brought forth this bill is because I believe that parents deserve the right to be involved in critical decisions relating to their child. But for some lawmakers, this isn't just politics, it's personal. What part of conversations about people like myself are not age appropriate. I ask that you not ask questions or answer questions in a ways that are personal to other members. Mr. Speaker, thank you for your guidance before. I'm gonna do my very best to comply, to not make my questions personal. But the bill is deeply personal. And I'm trying my very best, Mr. Speaker. I asked Representative Harding today why he withdrew his amendment. He sent us this statement that reads in part, all the amendment did was create procedures around how, when, and how long information was withheld from parents so that there was a clear process and kids knew what to expect. Nothing in the amendment was about outing a student. He says rather than battle over the amendment, he's deciding to focus on the primary bill itself. The House is expected to vote on Thursday. Michelle.